Angkujo. Ang sinunod na pagkakas ng talk ay yung mga kanadep tisa maka ay nang dal bitika chunte krom bitika pikday lugnun tiye ang damay minokah mato katang tumro na idaw jipo sa sa irumni sumchui. Thank you, Mr. President. Did we just prepare some Okun Lopatin? Mr. QN, before the break, you stated that there had been no meeting where it was announced that Nguyen Chia was in charge of the Ministry of Propaganda. Is it a correct summary of your words to say that you uh, concluded based on Nunchia's activities at the Ministry of Propaganda that he was in charge of the Ministry of Propaganda. ในแต่ខ្ញុំបានមកជាក់ហើយតែសំណួននេះនៅបានលើកតាំងមកសួរទៀតតែខ្ញុំសូមមកជាក់បន្ថែមទៀតថាដោយឃើញការងារជាក
if I did, there would be very few, very few meetings, nothing major. Uh, perhaps it was to reiterate previous instructions, for example, to be clear, there's not a quote from the transcript, but a, a quote from my own notes. My question to you, um, Mr. QN, your answers indicates that you are not sure, you're not certain whether you ever attended a meeting that was chaired by Nguyen Chia. Is that correct? Are you not sure whether you ever attended a meeting chaired by Nguyen Chia? ខ្ញុំសំខ្លាយសំនួនគឺក៏សួរហើយឆ្លើយពីម្សាមញ្ញដែលសំនួរអង្គនិព្វសួរបញ្ជាក់ទៀតក៏បន្ខុសពីម្
biển đang chỉ lưu ngày nào ngày nào tay tay chân lưu mó rồi đàn chấn trong cọp chuyện thợ biển này trộm lưu và biển này trộm lưu lưu đói cả sẽ đáp được chịu tại pi với lia na ai na đang chuyện bà này ăn miền này bạn đi chạy đây thạc nhưng sẽ đáp bàn pi bật pi là nghe ấy đường ngày đi ngày nó khai đi khai nó ở đây và trộm nhiều đấy I understand that you cannot recall whether it was in the morning or in the evening. And, um, it doesn't need to be that specific, your answer. Can you tell us which year you heard this announcement on the radio? ក្រឡាយនេះក៏ខ្ញុំឆ្លោយអត់បានត្រាបានគ្នាថាខ្ញុំអត់ចាំតែឆ្នាំណាខ្ញុំមកទទួលគាត់ <coughs> And if you cannot remember the exact year, can you remember whether it was broadcast? soon after you arrived at the Ministry of Propaganda, or was it more towards the end, before, uh, uh, more towards 1979, when the Vietnamese came? ពាក្យនេះអាពីមុនមកខ្ញុំគាត់ក៏ខ្ញុំអត់ស្គាល់ហើយពាក្យនេះក៏ដូចជាមិនទាន់បច្ចេញឬហើយនេះខ្ញុ
เออนุนเจียอ่าพอพอเจียบุคคลที่ 1 And just to be clear on that last issue, who were the people that told you that Nguyen Chia was the second in command after Pol Pot? អត់បានដែររកឃើញតែគណៈថាការងារខ្ញុំដល់ចេញពលការងារខ្ញុំមកខ្ញុំមកអង្គុយលេងទៅគេនិយាយលេងទៅលឺតាមគេទៅន
do you know whether indeed Nunchia mainly occupied himself with the education program on agriculture? Mr. President, an objection. I think if the council is going to ask the witness about specific testimony of Kim Boon, he should be uh, quoting it and providing transcripts. Uh, we, we dispute his characterization of that testimony. My recollection is, is that Mr. Kim Boon uh, simply provided uh, his information as to what he observed uh, when he saw Nguyen Chea. He certainly did not speak to everything that Nguyen Chea would have done at the ministry. So I think um, counsel is mischaracterizing the evidence uh, and that he should, if he wants to ask about specific testimony, uh, he should be quoting it and providing the uh, references. I'm happy to do so, um, uh, Mr. President. And uh, obviously, uh, the testimony of Mr. Kim Voon relates only to what he has witnessed himself. That is what we are here to test. But I am more than happy to run through the transcripts of um, Mr. Kim Voon's testimony. It will just be uh, more time consuming. I uh, think the more pointed questions would be uh, more efficient, but I'm in your hands. ຈຶ່ງລົກເຖີໃຕ້ກໍຕົມປໍຂອງ <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I will then proceed, and because I um, just summarized parts of the statements of Mr. Kim Voon, I will now read them out and bear with me. It will be slightly tedious, but for the record, um, I will proceed. Um, document number E1 slash 113.1. English ERN is 00841885. Khmer ERN is 00838789. It is the transcript of trial day 101, and the date is the 23rd of August 2012. And on that page, um, a question is asked to Mr. Kim Voon relating to these two ministries that Yun Yat controlled. Do you remember, Mr. Kim Voon, around which year Yun Yat started to control these two ministries? Mr. Kim Voon answers, I do not remember precisely, but she could have been controlling these institutions between 1977 or 1978. Question, and to your knowledge, Mr. Kim Voon, did Yun Yat stay in charge of these two ministries until the Vietnamese arrived in January 1979. Mr. Kim Boon answers, yes, she did, she stayed in charge until then. This is the first quote supporting what I just said, that according to Mr. Kim Boon, Yun Yat stayed in charge until uh, January 1979. On page 29 of the same document, and the English ERN for that is 00841881, Khmer ERN is 00838786. Question is asked to Mr. Uh, to the witness, and uh, the question is the following on line 12. 
You said you know that Mr. Nguyen Chia was the chairman of the People's Representative Assembly, but apart from his being the People's Representative Assembly, did he have any other function? And Mr. Kim Boon answers, I already stated that when uh, Ms. Yun Yat was absent, Mr. Nguyen Chia was attached to the propaganda section on education programs. He was there to disseminate information concerning agriculture. The information he quoted from a thick book by the Chinese expert, and also he instructed people at the editorial department in that propaganda section. And then, same document, 0084188, as the English ERN, my ERN is 0083879 Question was asked on line 15, Mr. Kim Boon, do you stand um, by that statement today that the leadership role at the Ministry of Propaganda was not Nguyen Chia's task. In that, and sorry, answer by uh, Mr. Kim Boon, in that only when Ms. Yunyat was present that he would come and replace her, and with regard to the agricultural programs, he would be the one who was in charge. And then on. Um, in document number E1 slash 112.1, English ERN is 0084.1179, Khmer ERN 0083986. Um, that's a repetition of what I just um, quoted, so that leaves me. Two more pages, um, that is, would be, again, document E1 slash 112.1, English ERN 0081211, and Khmer ERN 0083991. And those are questions by um, Judge Lavergne. And the question is on line 18. So can you tell us a bit more about what Nguyen Chia was doing at the Ministry of Propaganda and Education? And the answer is, actually, Mr. Nguyen Chia had a role in the education program. The education program was on agriculture. He brought a thick book by the Chinese experts in which he quoted one page at a time for the education purpose. That's what I learned back then. And then, Moving over to the next page, which is English ERN 0084-1212. Um, and the Khmer ERN is for that 0083991112. And it's again a question by Judge Lavergne. The question is in line 8. Did he replace Mrs. Yunyat or did he simply come to assist her, let's say? And, um, Mr. Kim Boon states, his fundamental program was the new education in agriculture, and I have no other knowledge of his involvement in other sections in writing, in particular because I have been transferred to the Kampuchea Krom Radio section when Mr. Nguyen Chia was assigned to the propaganda department. He only came most often when Nguyen Chia was not present. So that is for the transcripts. Um, of Kim Boon's testimony. And my question to you um, today is do you know whether that is true? The statements by Mr. Kim Boon that Nguyen Chia mainly occupied himself with the education program on agriculture at the Ministry of Propaganda. Do you know that? Do you have any information on that issue? 
Uh, Mr. President, uh, we'd have no objection if Council rephrases his question to ask him if he has knowledge about Nunche's role on education, but he continues to characterize uh, the testimony that this was Nunche's main occupation when the he's just read a statement where the witness clearly said uh, that he had no knowledge of Nunche's other activities at the ministry because he had been transferred to the Campuchia Prom radio section. So I, I have no objection if he wants to ask the witness an open question about uh, this issue, but he continues to characterize, mischaracterize the witness's testimony. Um, Mr. President, perhaps the best way is to simply quote from the transcript, and again, I will quote uh, Mr. Kim Woon's transcript uh, on uh, page 29, English year 00841881, and then Khmer uh, year 00838786. And I quote Mr. Kim Voon and Mr. Uh, witness, I'm now quoting from Mr. Kim Voon's statement. I already stated that when Ms. Yun Yat was absent, Mr. Nguyen Chia was attached to the propaganda section on education programs. He was there to disseminate information concerning agriculture, the information he quoted from a thick book by the Chinese expert, and also he instructed people at the editorial department in that propaganda section. My question to you, Mr. Kim Boon, um, Mr. Kieran, Mr. Kim Woon was at the Ministry of Propaganda, and it is his testimony that when uh, that's when Mrs. Yun Yat was absent, Mr. Nuchia was attached to the propaganda section on education programs, and that he was there to disseminate information concerning agriculture. Can you confirm or uh, contradict? That statement by Mr. Kim Voon, based on your knowledge at the time. ខ្ញុំសូមឆ្លោយសំណួរនេះអឺលោកអាចឈ្មោះ <coughs> គាត់ផ្ដល់គេចំឡើយហ្នឹងខ្ញុំដូចមិនមិនមិនវិនិច្ឆ័យកើតថាគាត់ឲ្យនឹងខុសឬត្រូវខ្ញុំអត់វិញ
ហើយនៅពេលវេលាបាហែលជាThank you for reminding me uh, of that, Mr. President. I have conferred with uh, the other teams before questioning uh, commands. I understand, but uh, happy to be corrected that the Kyozenpan team has very few questions and that uh, the Ansari team also will not have too many questions. So, uh, it is our expectation that we can finish within the one day allocated to the defense. <coughs> so, Mr. Qn, uh, I'm not asking you to judge or assess Mr. Kim Voon's testimony, that is not my purpose. I'm asking you about the role of Nguyen Chia. And my question is the following. Do you know, based on your own experience, what the substantive work of Mr. Nguyen Chia was at the Ministry of Propaganda. ກອດຈູບຈະຫມួយຄາງນູດຊິອັນນັ້ນຄາງນູດຊິຫຍັງໃຫ້ <coughs> ສາຍເລື່ອງນໍມາສໍາລັບອະໄດສຳນັກການອັນນັ້ນຫຼືກອດວ່າກອດບານພະລົກຊຸມຫນຸນຊິຍັງໄມ້ກອດຈູບຍ
specific quotes of Mr. Kim Woon on English ERM 00841885, Khmer ERN 00838789. Conductions E1 slash 113.1. Transcript of trial day uh, 101. Again, the question about the uh, two ministries, and I quote, do you remember, Mr. Kim Woon, around which year Yun Yat started to control these two ministries? Mr. Kim Woon answers, I do not remember precisely, but she could have been controlling these institutions between 1977 or 1978. Question. And to your knowledge, Mr. Kim Woon, did Yun Yat stay in charge of these two ministries until the Vietnamese arrived in January? 1979. And Mr. Kim Woon answers, yes, she did. She stayed in charge until then. End of quote. Mr. Um, QN, considering this testimony by Mr. Kim Woon. And based on your experience at the Ministry of Propaganda, do you think it is possible that Yun Yat, in fact, stayed in charge of both ministries until the Vietnamese came, and so also stayed in charge of the Ministry of Propaganda until January 1979? And is it possible that she simply had to divide her time between the two ministries and therefore was not that often at the Ministry of Propaganda? <laughs> Uh, yes, Mr. President, I would object to this question that the Council is now asking the witness to speculate uh, based on the testimony of another witness uh, as, to, as to what Yun Yat was doing. The witness has already given us his, his uh, recollection uh, of events. Uh, he shouldn't be asked to speculate uh, about such matters. I'm happy to uh, rephrase the question, uh, Mr. President. Um, how often did you um, Let me rephrase that question again. The two ministries that Yun Yat controlled at a certain point, were they in different locations in Phnom Penh? ខ្ញុំសូមឆ្លោយចំនួនទេបាទអឺកសួរទាំងពីរនេះគឺនៅដាច់ដោយឡែកគ្នាទេគឺដែលធ្លាប់ពីគុណនំនៅកន្លែង
you use for the two different ministries. ខ្ញុំមិនប្រកាសថាមក ສັກສາອົບລົມມາຖ້າຍມັນນັ້ນ And you say it was merged at a certain point? As far as you know, was it ever split up again, these two ministries? អាខ្ញុំសំខ្លាយអាពេលវាលាបែកក៏ខ្ញុំអត់ដឹងអាបាទឈ្មោះមកបែកចែកយ៉ាងម៉េចទេគឺអត់ដឹងដែរតែគា
rừng thơ ấy mình thơ ấy thơ tự tu với những thứ ớt tự tu nhưng mà ớt đằng này ớt đằng rừng càng nghe bà qua để xong miệng thế mà And to come back to my original question, which was, do you remember where these two different ministries were located, where in the city were they located? Ti tang ka sung da chum nơi hai ta ko sam bay nung mò lâu vi 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 Khánh Trương xuân vì sợ khiếm đi chạy đây từ cao hết nóng Nói Khánh Trương nóng Mà ta mới ở lấy đôi đôi miền ấy khơi Khiếm qua khơi để được khiếm châu mới nó khơi Khát lọp Rồi nơi lại nóng khơi nhà đây miền xài Nên Thủ sạp xài em đang tên lời tập bầu Nên nó khiếm đăng ngài đang khá rõ Tại con thà Cả lại chắc bọc luôn là bọc áo tức khơi Cả tàm nóng Thôi Cả xuống ấp rúng Khang dùn gạt nó trong Bà lòng bà rô Rô tì tăng tì ở chỗ bà lô Ở nhé Bà anh thật thà chắc là Nhưng còn đang thà Trên loại cái này nâng nâu Bí khả tập bốn bà rây kì là Thế em đang tận nạ ở chỗ bà Vô ọt đai trên châu ọt sợ đào Được không thà khiêm ăn nhẹ đào Thì nơi có lành mà Nhi xong mẹ mà tệ bà nâu mà Chùn mà tệ bà nâu mà Just, it may be my um, understanding that is off, but just to um, clarify, was the Ministry of Propaganda near the Lycée Descartes or near Bure Kela? Could you clarify it? maybe just my um, lack of understanding? Chúng ta sống một chiếc thờ Cả xuống khu sân cá đó nữ Khoảng thứ bốn Lý xe đầy cạc Cả xuống khoảng sạc dạo Rung đó Tì tán Nhưng mà Mình đang thả kia Mùi nạ ai cho bái ấy Ta có đăng thành nơi Pì khoảng thứ bốn Mùa đây kì là Và đọc bìa cho bạch Mà châu lấy thọp Đăng Để thờ Còn một khúc con Cả xuống bìa thọp đăng Nghe kì từ màu Pì khả nông màu khả nông Hãy khả nông kì từ khóa tới kì Sụt đó để dừng để ớt đá như thế xua kì nơi tên á Và chắc kì bạp là nó Chìa 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 bốn mét đây Bạn đắng bạn lưu bì kì hơi Chìm nói tì tăng thà kìa nà mũi ớt Nhưng mà ớt đá đắng cho bà thầy ớt đá khơi nhu Xong miệng tệp nè mà ớt hông tệp Ok, that is clear Mình đã bị um, Mr. Kim Woon describes how, as far as he could tell, Nguyen Chia came whenever Ms. Nguyen Yat was absent and would replace her. But Mr. Kim Woon states that this happens on an intermittent basis. So he states that Mrs. Junyat came back and forth to the ministry and that Nguyen Chia would mostly come when Junyat was absent. Did you 
witness the same phenomenon? ខ្ញុំសូមឆ្លោយលេខជាចម្លោយរបស់លោកកំបុនអាចខ្ញុំខ្ញុំបញ្ជាក់ពីចម្លោយរបស់ខ្ញុំថាខាង <coughs> ខ្ញុំនៅកន្លែងខ្ញុំធ្វើការគាត់ទៅវិញក៏អត់ដឹងតែដល់កន្លែងគាត់ហ្នឹងគាត់មានតំណែងដល់ច្រើនជាខ្
the main building no, where ngay. Kim Vun worked. How many meters? An estimate is good enough. <coughs> ກໍຫນັກໂດຍອັກນໍ້ກຽມຫນຶ່ງຫຍັງກໍຫນັກກຽມຕຶກຕຶກນໍ້ເດີ້ຫຍັງຕຶກຕຶກນໍ້ເດ
Tell us a bit more about that because it seemed that yesterday you stated that Nguyen Chian did not have a proper office within the Ministry of Propaganda. And what you are saying today is at least it sounds like he did have his own office. Could you explain the contradiction? មួយត្រឹមត្រូវទៅវិញចម្លងទាំងពីរនេះដូចជាមានភាពខុសគ្នាសូមមើលលោកជួយបញ្ជាក់បន្ថែមអានារឿទេខ្ញុំសូមបញ
Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Ms. Nunchia is suffering from a headache, uh, back pain, and a lack of concentration, and would like to follow the proceedings from his holding cell, and we have prepared the waiver. អង្គការបានស្រាប់តំណើរសុំរបស់លោកនុនជាដែលបានធ្វើឡើងតាមរយៈមេត្តាវីការពីក្រៃបកតសុំទៅតាមដានកិច្ចចំណាយការសម្